Hey guys, Chris Collects Things back again. How you doing? Firstly, I want to say I hope everyone had a Merry Christmas who celebrated. Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, all the above. And I hope you all have a Happy New Year as well. In this video, we will be opening up my uh, Sword and Shield Charizard Ultra Premium Collection that I've had sitting in my office for weeks, if not a month plus. Uh, I'm excited to dig into this, check out the awesome Charizard promos, and hopefully get some fire pulls. So let's get to it. <laughs> Alright, let's check out this puppy. This is a good looking box. You have the glorious Charizard on the front, on the back. It is just a Pokeball <laughs> symbol. Got this thing, I believe, I believe it slides. Slides. Oh, oh, actually. It magnetizes open so there's also a nice storage box for your card which is pretty sweet and there's like the uh, darkness ablaze whatever awesome looking Charizard card oh in this wow in this is is the, the sweet map this is this is one way to do it people look at that glorious Charizard right there that is a good looking play map what else do we have in here? Looks like it comes with some sweet little like box separators too. This thing is really nice. You get your gold die. There's actually like, I would say two sets of them. Looks like there's a lot more damage on them. We have the sweet Charizard sleeves. That's awesome. And these um, oh, these are the damage um or whatever counters you want to call them. And here you got some packs, you got a few fusion strikes, you got your evolving skies, definitely looking to dig into those, some vivid voltage, and darkness ablaze. There's your coin, you got your Charizard promos, we will open up those, but this is gorgeous. And we have some more packs. I don't know how many packs are in here, but we got some Lost Origin, some Astral, some Brilliant Stars, and then we have our Sword and Shield book. Assuming it has all like the pictures and whatnot in it. it talks about the different sets. Pretty cool. And these, I remember when these came out, people were like jump it people like these things are gonna be hard to find they're gonna be like the celebrations ones and now i feel like you can go to target online you can get it for 99 dollars. i don't know if i don't know if i paid 120 or not which was like msrp but i've seen them as low as like 80 90 dollars so 16 booster packs it's a ton you got the charizard cards so here's the first one. We'll put them in the different sleeves, but there we go, Charizard V. Excellent looking promo there. That's a good looking card. Next one is the Charizard V Max Sword and Shield promo. It looks like that background we have um, from the playmat. Awesome, fierce looking Charizard there. And last but not least is definitely one of my favorites. It's a very Dragon Ball Z esque um, Charizard fighting Mewtwo card. And then it has a companion card where it's like Mewtwo's view fighting Charizard. Uh, I'm not sure what that's coming up in, but I know it's coming up in some sort of product in the future. So definitely want to try to get that card because um, look at this. This is just an epic collection of, uh, of Charizard cards and an epic battle right there. Now it would be very fitting if we could pull a Charizard in this box since it is the Charizard box. So I'm going to take this time to say uh, like and subscribe, make sure you hit that bell so you can be notified of future openings, um, Pokemon related shorts, two a day, two a day people, um, and content in the future. And uh, maybe you'll set up a Discord eventually, if uh, comment below if you're interested in that sort of thing, and then maybe we'll start doing some live stuff eventually. So anyways, let's get into these rips. Like I said, we're going to start with the oldest and go to the newest, Darkness of Blaze first. Still looking for that Charizard card, um, <laughs> like a lot of people. I think it's actually one of the easier ones to pull, because I think it's just like a regular um, V card, not like... 
I don't know what I'm trying to say there, but boom, this one's for you guys. Telling me that is one of the easier Charizards to pull. And you know, I trust whatever that man says, so there you go. A Trapinch, Torchic, Rookie D, Teddy Earth, a Dedene Reverse, and a Wigglytuff. All the graphics. That must have been error because it looked like a white code card. All right, on to Vivid Voltage. Still looking for the Chonkachu, so that's obviously our uh, chase of choice there. They actually switched to the new code card for this one. That's interesting. I'm going to give you guys this one. So is this like a new Vivid Voltage pack? I assumed it was going to be the old code card, like the Darkness of Blaze, but it's not. So, um, And I forget the trick, so... Not sure if the white back is good. I'm thinking it's not, but this we'll find out. Lee Fairy, a Dawn fan, and the Shedinja non holographic, so that's a womp right there. Next up, another vivid voltage, the last one, Chonka Chew or Bus. Alright, this should be a pull if I know my um, code cards. I don't know why they do that. They should just change the colors. Just have one solid color. Maybe they'll do that in the new set. We have a Porion, um, Reverse Hollow, and a Tornadus. It's our first pull, but it's only a Hollow, so don't get too excited there. All right, Evolving Skies up next, and I am excited for some Evolving Skies. Lots of uh, sweet alt arts there. There's more than I care to name. So this is an old code card. That's funny. I don't get it, people. I don't get it. Not once for you guys. All right, we got our fire energy. Rahane, Avalug, Vigoroth, Molga, Slackoth, Gosseflu, Gosseflu, Love Disc, Fletchling, Gordy, and a Gorgeist. Also in the Halloween set. Check out that video in the card above. All right, Evolving Skies number two. I don't know what's going on there, but Shelgon, Iskew, full face mask, 15 yard penalty, first down. Drowsy, Flabebe, Rug and Rolla, Side Duck, Swiblu, Gold Duck Reverse, and a High Dragon Holographic. Come on, when we're getting pulls, they're only regular hollows. Not a pull you'd bring home to your mother, that's for sure to put on the fridge all right last pack of evolving skies let's hope we have some evolving skies last pack magic here anything lately all right we got steel ursa ring crystal caves from donkey kong 64 sable eye nick burger meister meister burger Havana, sharpedo and Baros. Womp. those evolving skies packs were some of the Ones I was looking forward to, but we're gonna step into Fusion Strike. A lot of them are upside down, like these error packs here. We got Fire, SpongeBob SquarePants, Klotzer, Roger Klotzer, Bunnel B, Tuna, Drill Burr, Shelmet, Shinxy Poo, Eevee, Amuna, the Pippa, the Santa Maria, and a finally a pull, a Greninja V. Nice pull there. All right, Greninja pack. Let's hope we keep this trend a going. As far as I'm concerned, we've had only one pull, and that's that Greninja that really matters. I'm gonna surprise myself, but then I think I ruined it for myself. Beware! Power Tablet, Elder Goss, Snorlax under a tree, Danny Phantom, how you doing? Totodile, Trubbish, this pack is probably gonna be Trubbish, and Landorus, Reverse, that's very nice, and a Galarian Obstagoon, so we did get a holographic there, so technically a pull, but... Galarian Obstagoons, man, I haven't enjoyed pulling those since Champion's Path when I first got second like one. Check out the Champion's Path playlist. We did have some good luck with that set, though. Seriously, check it out. Lots of Charizard pulls there. Spoilers! Alright, last pack, Fusion Strike Magic. Electrifying energy there. Quickie. Morgrim, Cook, Manx, Zigzagoon, Chauncey, Vulpix, Quillfish, Victini Reverse, and an Absol non-holographic. That was our last Fusion Strike. Um, so far we just have a Greninja to our name, really. You know, 
I'm guessing that one's not really worth uh, diddly. Probably a buck or two. But we're on to the trainer galleries. Um, still need to pull Charizards and Arceuses from this set. Um, haven't had much luck, <laughs> to be honest. I think I owe you guys this one. Alright, I think we got another pull here because I got a sneak peek. Luxio, Core Fish, Sox Dude, Cherubi, Clefairy, Kara Blast, Empoleon Reverse, and a Raichu V. Another pull. Another day, another pull. Thank you, Brilliant Stars. Alright, old boy, Charizard. Let's see if you can bring home some bacon here. Another electric. Would electric be good for us? Let's find out. Get bites. Cafe Do Skullmish. Cub Chew De Dene. Clink. Snow Runt. Garchomp Reverse. Any Moltres. Regular holographic. These are not the pulls we're looking for. Last pack. Let's get some uh, shameful thing. Lobster Head right here. It's a Seamus reference for all you WWE fans understand the meme these ones are like right in your face those code cards they're upside down so you don't get tricked i guess tricks for kids another electric is that like three in a row i don't even know man marnie's pride the dene nose pass snow runt ball toy mincino man pipple up and an inferno holographic as we're going into the last five packs Astral Radiance, more trainer gallery um, opportunities, I'm going to say, <laughs> using that term very loosely. These do not want to rip open for me right now. Fighting, Fight for your right to party, Wait, C and Turbo, Shield Dawn, Suda Wudo, Cone B, Drifloon, Psyduck, Togepi, Regidrago, and a Quist uh, of Quilfish, not holographic. Womp! been a pretty dud box I don't know comment below if you've had um some rough luck with these uh, Charizard uh, UPCs honestly I haven't watched many of them or any of them astral number two I don't really want to psychic feather ball okay we got some shine here guys astral radiance this could be the pull of the box um, don't let me down Sneasel Hisuian Sneasel boom we got a wide ear First trainer gallery pull of this box, and it looks like a double banger and mash. And boom! <gasps> it's been a while since I've pulled the top card that people were looking for in certain sets in this Machamp Alt Art V card is one of them. <sighs> Man, I don't even know if it's been since the Tyranitar. Um, buffet card since I've pulled one of these it could be I'm probably forgetting a few at least for the alt arts but boom my champ be alt art oh man this is worth it this is so sweet I love it thanks guys I'll put the price up there double banger in mash oh yeah I don't know if anything's gonna beat that last pack with that Machamp, but last pack of astral radiance I doubt it, but hey, all right, all right. You know, I was complaining, and it was saving the best for last. Fire. Gonna pull some fire, maybe. I'm still Charizard or Arceus and Arceus list on Brilliant Stars. I know this is Astral for like the third pack, but there's my uh, Reg Regelki and a Reg double Regelki Bros. I still can't believe we pulled that Machamp though. That was, that's a pull right there. I literally forgot what set that card was in. All right, two packs of Lost Origin. Can we get the Altar Giratina? That would be the icing on the cake for this one, but we we're already doing pretty good with the Altar Machamp. I honestly might send that thing out to get graded. I'm going to give you guys the last card, so hang in there. This has been a bit of a slog, and I appreciate every single one of you for watching my videos. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you can get more exciting openings such as this. Fun content. Uh, going to do more tier lists in the future. 
etc., etc. Shorts two times a day. Relicant and Agredent, non hollow. Calling my shot. We're going to get the Giratina Alt Art in this last pack. And I'm going to take you home happy. Unlike the Patriots against the Bengals last week. <laughs> if you watch that, you know what I'm talking about here. Let's summon it. Wah, 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 wah. It's been a while since we've summoned, so maybe that's the problem. This one's for you guys. Enjoy. Alright, I'm feeling good about this one. I am feeling good about this one. Alright, Darkness Energy Toolbox, Gastrodon, Arc Phone, Bronzor, Phalanx, Polly, jumping a little there, Growlithe, Me and Fu, and a Snorlax. It was a hit, but not the hits we're looking for. Unfortunately, Giratina still eludes us. But, but, there were a lot of dud packs, I will say, in that. Out of the 16, um, we have some hollow pulls. I'm not gonna call count those though because those aren't those aren't real pulls in my opinion. It's a shame because holographics used to be fun to pull, and now it's just like oh, I only got a holographic. You feel like a spoiled uh, little brat. But boom, here's the to do the recap. Here we have the creme de la creme, Chef's Kiss, the Machamp V alternate art that is. Definitely my pick for pull of the box. You guys can vote below, below in the comments, but this should be a runaway right here. Machamp V Alternate Art. Excellent. The Y Deer Trainer Gallery, which I think we already have one of these, but it is a cool card. Raichu V and Greninja V. And then just the lovely Charizard. So literally four out of the 16 packs we got a V or above. Not very good odds. It's a, probably a good baseball average, but not what we're looking for. But I think this made the box worth it. What do you guys think? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Make sure you comment. Make sure you follow me on the Twitter, um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and stay safe. Have a happy new year. And I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.